So, it's been a while. Hello everyone, Flo here, and I'm finally done with my studies. Well, almost, but that's a story for another day. Anyways, I've observed from the sidelines the discourse of AI usage in the Gacha community, and seeing certain reactions, I decided to step in and explain to you all, as someone literally in the creative field and meddling in the matter 24-7, What's the difference between AI and generative AI, and why telling the two apart actually matters? But before getting into the technical details, let's begin by putting some context into what in the world is going on in the Gacha community these days. Back in February of this year, a trend named the microwave trend surfaced on YouTube and TikTok, and some people would use an AI named Pigverse to do it. But months later, as more and more users started unironically using the AI for their content, people turned their backs on the creators who used it in the past and are now ranting or sharing their criticisms online, mostly on TikTok. Alright, now that the stage has been set, we need to understand why people are suddenly getting upset over this. AI, or artificial intelligence, is now considered a huge umbrella term covering many subsystems within its core. We have the NPC enemy AI, which in video games represents the lines of code and programming language that executes how a non-playable character acts under certain circumstances. See that big fella walking towards the sheep and aiming at her? Yeah, everything here is dictated by algorithms and codes. Then we have the traditional AIs, the ones that are very well designed specifically for one particular field, but are still based on algorithms and lines of code. According to the University of Illinois, it is the analysis and interpretations of a specific domain within predefined boundaries. And within traditional AI, there are still subcategories, like machine learning algorithms used by your favorite social media platforms to adapt themselves towards your preferences. So before you ask, no, your feed isn't generated. It has analyzed and interpreted your likes and dislikes to provide a better selection for you. And now, generative AI. And this is the one you should be alert about. Nivdia has explained it as such. Generative AI models can take inputs such as text, image, audio, video, and code and generate new content into any of the modalities mentioned. For example, it can turn text inputs into an image, turn an image into a song, or turn video into text. To put it simply, generative AI bases itself upon existing data and information to create new data and new information. Most known generative AIs out there, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Midjourney, Character AI, and the list goes on. Now accompanied with new knowledge and upon watching the microwave trade made via Pigverse. What sort of AI is Pigverse? Simple, they say it themselves. It's generative AI. So why is generative AI so hated? Firstly, it's about ethics. Generative AI is being trained based on our creations. You probably have seen how Meta or other big corporations are trying to enforce AI training from what we post online, without our permission nor knowledge. Secondly, it's about respect for the craft. Prompting Ghibli-like images is like doing a middle finger to all artists out there who put time, effort, and sweat into creating something that is full of life and purpose. Thirdly, it is a primary source for hoaxes and deepfakes online. The more it is normalized, the harder it is to differentiate what's real and what's actually generated by AI. Finally, it is an energy-intensive system. Yes, believe it or not, any command made towards any generative AI system will eat down more electricity and water than just a simple search on the web. The reason water is mentioned here is not because AI is drinking water. The water is used to constantly cool down the servers charged with electricity. The longer the machines are heating, the more water is required to keep the temperature down. Before you roll your eyes and say I'm inventing things, I'll recommend you guys to check the description down below for verified resources and researches made on the matter. Now that it's out of the way, we can finally focus on the gacha community. If we follow the logic of finding every gacha content creator who used AI in the past and cancel them now, 
We should cancel all who did the hugging trend, all the microwave trend using AI on YouTube and TikTok. But then why isn't it happening? The reason the discourse escalated this far is not because of people ranting on the subject. Oh no. It's how some of the creators targeted by those rants responded to the matter. And not in a great way is an euphemism. Doubling down their positions by making more AI videos, responding by expressing anger, frustration, reducing the criticism and the renters as hate. While bad threats are sure not it, a majority of people who gave out their opinions came in good faith, but have received such responses. For each argument and explanation the creators targeted and the fans throw out, there is always a respectful counter-argument. It was a trend, they say, yet people did the trend without the use of pickverse. It was a joke, they say, yet jokes are supposed to be funny and unserious, aren't they? Why take this audio so seriously as to close comments or make a video responding to haters then? It was to show how bad AI is, they say. But then why use it in the first place if already aware that it's bad? Why can we find hashtag viral or hashtag gotcha edit before the slightest mention that it was AI generated? You see, AI is very bad, but everything you use is literally AI, they say. But there is a difference, and generative AI is worse than the machine learning AI or the NPC AI, like we discussed before in this video. It's not like AI will kill us, they say. Yet, like mentioned before, generative AI is dividing us, making people lose their jobs, and accelerating the decline of the environment. It might be slow, but it is very deadly slow. People would do anything for views, they say but not when it is backed up by evidence and research and said people have experienced the consequences themselves. No matter what argument is brought up, there is always this final counter. You chose this. You knew AI was bad, but you chose to go along anyway. You saw people do the trend without the usage of AI, but still chose to rely on AI. You chose to pose the AI-generated video by clicking the upload button. Right now, you have chosen every possible explanation and excuse to defend yourself by pressing the send button. You chose everything that is coming your way. Now deal with it. Accept the consequences of your own actions. By reacting this way, you are proving to your audience that you don't question yourself and that their voices don't matter to you. And that, as a content creator, is far worse than attempting to justify your one usage of AI. And that's where we will end this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Stay safe and have a nice day or night. Bye!